Cummins owners out there that are looking to do a 24 valve common rail to a 12 valve wanted to talk real quickly with you about what we found works for all AC compressors. Uh, we tried fitting a common rail AC compressor on this truck and it will not fit with the 12 valve block. You need to run a, I think it's pre-2002, so it's a pre-common rail setup off of an either a 24 valve. This pump, this compressor right here is off of a 99 24 valve VP powered truck. And what we did is the, the back of the pump has a different electrical connector on it, so you're going to have to make a little pigtail. Um, and you can do that fairly easy if you just want to hack up your, I say hack, um, if you want to cut the wires off the back of your common rail compressor, it will have the right pigtail to match your wiring harness. I didn't want to ruin a perfectly good compressor, so what I did is I, you see the little red wire there? There's a red and a black, and what I did is I just made a little jumper to go from my factory pin to the 12-valve AC compressor there. The rest of the stuff, you can see the sensors right there for checking pressure and everything to let it switch on. Those all work. The AC in this truck worked till the compressor burn up, and of course it was winter time by then. I didn't bother recharging this one, but... It's all set up, it's all wired in, all I have to do is recharge it in the spring and it'll start. So the other thing that I wanted to show you that's important for this function, um, you'll see in some of the Cummins forums where it talks about uh, what is necessary to get one of these to run and I did that off the start wiring into a pin on the computer to ground it out. But it's not needed, as far as I can tell, because I've done it both ways, it's not needed to wire anything else in as long as you retain, hopefully we can get a picture of this, um, almost, we'll come in from this side, sorry guys. Okay, so that's the tone wheel in front of the harmonic balancer, and that is tone wheel as long as you have that sensor in there and it's telling the computer control that your truck is on you will get AC function out of it it will lock up properly so that's an important thing if you want AC to work on your truck don't skimp out I think you can get one of these setups with the block that spaces it out correctly from D stroked for about a hundred bucks I think it is somewhere around there plus shipping probably, and reuse your common rail tack sensor. Or buy, they have a very nice kit. Of course, that adds a little extra cost to it. But between those two things, that proper tack sensor that's working with the right tooth count, um, you can see how tight those teeth are. It's about a 60 minus 2, I think. Um, you cannot use a wider tooth spread like if you get a 36 minus 1 or something like that you won't get it'll tell the engine you'll still get AC compressor lockup but you won't have the correct tack reading okay I hope that helps everybody out that's thinking about how to get the AC working on their common rail truck enjoy guys good luck out there